Hello everybody and welcome to my new project and YouTube channel called The Kilowatt Challenge. So why is it a challenge? Well, let me tell you because I live in Sweden and this is my man cave. Welcome. And in Sweden we have rather, I'm not going to say large, I'm going to say extortionate electricity bills. This one is 500 quid and that's not for a year or for a quarter, that's for a month. 500 quid. Now we moved into this house a couple of years ago and uh, we didn't know what it costs to, to run this house with electricity so that was a bit of a shock. So I've taken it upon myself to completely renovate the house in terms of how we consume electricity, how we produce and generate electricity and how we store electricity. Together with that how we heat the house and how we heat the water as well. Now this is going to take a long time, probably a couple of years, and I thought I'd have a bit of fun and document the whole thing on YouTube as well. So it's going to be a long journey, so please do click subscribe. Oh, I've got a lot to learn. There we are. That's it. There. <laughs> click the little bell if you want as well. And uh, let the journey begin. So how am I going to start? How am I going to do it? How is this even going to work? And how am I going to save 500 quid a month, during the winter that is, on my electricity bill? Well, watch and learn. <clears throat> so the kilowatt challenge. What is the challenge? <laughs> well, obviously I've already decided because I've given the channel a name and the project. Um, I'm challenging myself to design and develop some way to harvest and store enough energy, more than likely from the sun, um, and in batteries, like this lot down here, to run this house completely off grid for 24 hours in the summer. Not the winter, that's impossible, we're in Sweden. But certainly in the summer, it's got to be possible. It's got to be possible. I mean, this electricity bill is unsustainable and I'm not gonna keep paying 500 quid a month in the winter. That's just extortionate, extortionate. <laughs> and the irony is here in Sweden, you do pay tax on top of VAT, on top of energy tax, all sorts of stuff. So the more you can reduce your consumption, the more you save, it has like a compounding effect. So that's it, that's my challenge. I'm gonna completely modernize the electrics and the heating system. Well, there isn't a heating system the electrics and the heating in this house so that it can run off-grid for 24 hours in the summer. <laughs> what have I done? Why? Why am I doing this? Why? How much is this going to cost? Oh God. Oh. And so it begins. The kilowatt challenge. And so it begins. So this project is going to have three distinct phases. Phase one, <laughs> we're going to have to reduce the energy which we're using. When we bought the house 18 months ago, we got the first electricity bill. You know how you get like a little history on the bottom? We could see that the house was consuming 26,000 kilowatt hours per annum. 26,000 kilowatt hours each year. <sighs> now by any measure, that's a lot. We're going to have to half that, at least half that. And that's not changing some light bulbs, is it? <laughs> Ooh, that's a project in itself. Number two, we're going to have to generate and store as much energy as we possibly can using solar panels, obviously the sun. I'm particularly interested in this, especially the storage of it. I've been, for the last well, a few months I've been keeping an eye on the DIY Powerwall community which is a group of people using old batteries and new batteries to be fair storing uh, the energy which they generate the excess energy which they generate in batteries <clears throat> and then using it in the evenings and at night which effectively means you're off grid now we can't do that in the winter there's not enough sun here um, in November 2019, near Gothenburg, which is where I am, 
that was recorded by the, the weather office, I'm sure there's a name for that, 11 hours of sunshine for the whole month. Think about that, 11 hours of sunshine for the whole month. So winter's gonna be a challenge on the generation and storage side. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I'll figure it out. And the third, I need to install a central heating system, an energy efficient central heating system to replace the 16 electric radiators, which I have in the house at the moment. 16 electric radiators. Ooh. Now we, we don't use them, to be fair. We've got two old log burners, which we have running um, when it's really, really cold. And we've got some um, air-to-air inverters, uh, one on each side of the house, which do a great job. But the house is never really warm enough. So that's gonna be another facet to this project. We shall see, we shall see. And there we have it, video number one out of the way. It's gonna be a long journey and I'm gonna try, as I've said, and share as much of it as I possibly can with you, right down to the technicalities, the costs, all the pain, all the anguish, but also hopefully the end result. Having a cold beer, chilled by energy stored, harvested from and stored in batteries from the sun. It's gonna be cool, I'm really looking forward to it and why don't you join me by subscribing? Yay, I got it right. <laughs> See you on the next one. Cheerio, bye.